Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm at it again here on the Unimat. I'm taking the very same tool grind that I had on the last video uh, against the 303. Well, this time I'm stepping up to 304, and uh, we're going to cut some 304 on a Unimat. Uh, RPMs are the same, uh, 1100 RPMs. Uh, depth of cut, we're going to go... Uh, probably about 0.2 uh, millimeters, uh, may even try 0.3, just to see how this tool will perform. Um, I'm trying to uh, uh, basically find the perfect tool here, and uh, this 8 degree um, tool um, uh, may be very valuable in this quest. Uh, Bucker up, uh, here comes the mayhem. Let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and advance uh, 0.3 millimeters. Yeah, uh, we've produced a uh, kind of a long stringy chip, which is uh, pretty typical for uh, 304. Um, the surface finish is actually very, very good. Um, I expected a, a little bit more problems with this material on this small of a lathe, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, go again, just for giggles. So we go one, two, three, let's take a four. Why not? Put this Unimat to the test, see if we can get some depth of cut out of this thing. Yep, we're making a uh, nice chip that's coming off. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but it is peeling this steel, the stainless steel off um, at a very nice rate. And uh, you heard the uh, RPMs dip just a little bit. Uh, I, I'm going to go on record here and say that this, uh, this tool here at uh, 8 degrees front and uh, top rake is uh, doing a pretty dang good job, especially on a machine of this uh, size. Uh, 304, if you've never uh, machined it before, uh, eats up tools and breaks tools when you don't want it to and all that good stuff. Uh, this particular tool doesn't even appear to be affected. There's still a nice sharp edge all the way up to the tip of this thing. Um, so, um, yeah, if you haven't tried it, you might want to try grinding up an 8 degree tool. Um, you know, it's just one of those uh, tools that uh, could be uh, very useful, especially if you have to um, uh, make steps uh, because this tool is flat all the way across it and it is uh, a 90 degree angle and um, uh, it, it's very useful for uh, coming straight up to a shoulder. But anyways, um, thank you all for watching.